Ahmed Stu, I'm Iranian ambassador of University of Pisa and I'm, I'm a student of neuroscience program. Today we're going to interview the director of master program of biotechnologies and applied artificial intelligence for health. So stay tuned and don't forget to follow us on our social media. Good afternoon. My name is Ariana Tavanti and I am the president of the master's degree in biotechnology and applied artificial intelligence for health. The aim of this master's degree is to provide students with a robust knowledge on complex biological processes and uh, uh, to learn uh, the use of artificial uh, intelligence and to bioengineering system to uh, biotechnologies for health. Well, Pisa is an historic university, but uh, has also a freshen, freshness uh, and uh, is a very warm. You will find a lot of students welcoming you and you will get very soon into the Pisa life. And of course, uh, uh, this is coupled with uh, uh, experts in the fields and professors who will guide you throughout the entire process. Well, um, the marks uh, doesn't really matter because uh, this master's degree is, is open to people which have a different background. Uh, students with uh, a first degree uh, in either engineering or computer science are, can be admitted to the master's degree together with uh, students with graduating in biology or in biotechnology. Of course, given the different backgrounds during the admission test, students with a background in engineering and computer science will be asked specifically questions on basic biology and biotechnology topics, whereas the other way around will happen for biology students, which in turn will be asked about mathematical and computer science basic topics. Okay, so the, the course is structured in a way that can bring both students either with a computer science or engineering background and the biology and biotechnology background to a similar level. And this is due to the fact that students will follow different tracks. I mean, during the first year, there is a curriculum which is called bio, biology and one which is called engineering. Biology and biotechnology students will follow the engineering curriculum, which will serve them to gain some basic knowledge in engineering topics such as probability and biostatistics or bioinformatics and in silico models, whereas the engineers will follow a track which is called biology, which will provide them with the basic knowledge on, for instance, biology and cellular systems and so on. And this two tracks will bring the students to reach a similar level that which uh, will allow them during the sec second year to be reunited in a common track where well they cover topics such as cell signal in imaging tools, bioengineering and experimental models and the omics section of the of the course. So I would like also to stress out that the laboratory training for the thesis for these students so will be focused on most innovative technologies and cutting edge topics which will provide them with a, a, a complex and a complete knowledge that will let them to, to will let them to be easy to be uh, to go into the job placement and and into job opportunities an ideal candidate is a student who doesn't fear challenge, which is curious and is willing to take on, on new opportunities uh, and uh, is uh, eager to learn and approach to a new field. I don't believe uh, is university, that University of Pisa is difficult to graduate from. We have a very good numbers of uh, graduate. Of course, like every faculty, it requires commitment, but you will find people that are willing to take you through the, throughout the whole process. And if you are guided by your enthusiasm, there's nothing to fear. 
uh, graduates in biotechnologies and applied artificial intelligence for health will be prepared for both academic and industrial research and particularly in those areas that concerns biotechnology and bio bioinformatics industry so they will be able to understand and elaborate complex biological phenomena they will be able to design innovative experimental model and instruments uh, such as for instance biosensor biochips that will be able to analyze and process uh, big data which is a requirement uh, nowadays for most industry so other potential professional uh, perspective could include uh, uh, dissemination of scientific knowledge, institutional communication, or uh, they could play a role in developing the field of artificial intelligence in health. Thank you very much for listening and I'm looking forward to welcoming you all in Pisa.